Hey everyone, it's Peter from Theme Park Crazy, back again with another unscripted video. Now, like a lot of Coaster fans, I'm wondering what exactly Cedar Point's next major roller coaster is going to be. Now, ordinarily, this kind of thing, you'd have to wait a while to see plans be leaked or to see an announcement like in August, but I decided to do something a little unorthodox, and I actually decided to interview Cedar Point's Director of Marketing, Jake Schwimmer. And I had an amazing conversation with Mr. Schwimmer, and I really wanted to show you all the conversation and the interview with permission from Mr. Schwimmer, of course, because he revealed something that I think you're all going to find very, very exciting. So let's take a look at the interview. All right, so Mr. Schwimmer, thanks for being on. And uh, the first thing I want to ask is, what exactly do you do at Cedar Fair or Cedar Point? What does your job entail? Uh, basically, I oversee various operational aspects of the park, uh, you know, ensuring that everything runs smoothly and efficiently to provide guests with a good experience. I do things like uh, managing teams, coordinating events, and implementing strategies to uh, enhance visitor satisfaction and safety. Ah, cool. So what, what got you interested in specifically working at Cedar Point? I pretty much got interested in working here because my kids love theme parks. Mm -hmm. uh, we love going on all the kiddie rides together. I actually don't really like riding roller coasters, but I still think they're cool from a business standpoint uh, because of the engineering that goes into them. All right. Well, uh, first of all, how dare you? <laughs> and um, beyond that, I do want to ask, um, what did you do before working at Cedar Point? Um, I actually used to work at Pepsi, but I was brought on after the merger. Oh. Uh, I wanted to work somewhere closer to my family. Well, um, so anyway, I'm just wondering, and a lot of my viewers are wondering, actually, without giving anything big away, right. what are your 2025 plans in general? Like, what does Cedar Point have planned for 2025? Yeah, so uh, 2025 is going to be a pretty big year for us. We're planning a couple of new restaurants mm. on the boardwalk and uh, some new Breakers Hotel renovations. But uh, out of all the new rides, I think that the roller coaster is going to be the biggest project by far. That sounds awesome. Uh, are you able to go into any detail about what that roller coaster will be like? I can't give away everything, but it is going to be a record breaker. Uh, from what I heard, Tony Clark saw that new coaster they're building in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. and said that we have to outdo it at all costs. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big investment, but I'm pretty sure it's going to make us a lot of money in the long term. All right. So are there any other details that you can reveal about this coaster? In terms of other details, uh, I can reveal that it will be built by an Idaho-based manufacturer. Uh, it's uh, a ride model we've been looking at for quite some time. It's actually been in development for a while, so uh, you may have heard about it. And uh, I'll give you a hint. It's the same name as a dinosaur. <laughs> well, that that's a pretty big hint. <laughs> so you mentioned it would be a record breaker. What kind of records are you looking at breaking? Uh, I can tell you right now it's going to be the tallest, fastest, longest roller coaster in the world. Oh, my God. I'm talking 520 feet no. and 156 miles per hour. Wow. And it will have more inversions than any other coaster. Wow. I mean, I'm just blown away right now. That <laughs> sounds incredible. But I do have to ask, it does sound like an expensive project. How are you going to afford it? And how are you going to find room for it? Oh, it'll easily be $60 million or more. But uh, we do have a plan. We are going to be demolishing Millennium Forceless uh -oh. in order to build this boss new ride. Huh? Honestly, the cable lift has been a pain in the ass. Pain in the and ass. Uh, we're all pretty much sick of it at this point. It's sad, I know. But uh, I think that this new coaster will be a whole lot better. 
Millennium Forceless had hardly any airtime anyway, and I'd honestly rather take a dump in a toilet full of venomous snakes what? than ride that piece okay. of crap again. Hello, okay, um, first of all, are you okay? Look, dude, I've been through a custody uh, battle. Cut me some slack. Okay, okay, well, all right. Look, I'm not... I'm not going to go after you for your custody battle. I, honestly, I don't know why you even brought that up. You she tried to uh, take my kids. Whoa. whoa. Okay, calm down. This is not an outlet to talk about custody battles. This channel is called Theme Park Crazy, not Theme Park Custody. But um, we should probably wrap this up. So overall, what can people look forward to in the next five years overall? Well, since you were such a stupid, stinky jerk, Excuse we're me? going to be closing down Dorney Park and Michigan's what? adventure, so huh? put that in your pipe and smoke it. I'm out of here. Well, uh, that was quite an interview. And by the way, happy April Fool's Day, everyone.